Today I'd like to talk to you about firearms regulations inside the European Union, but before I do that I'd just like to advertise to Luxembourgish speakers that uh, in the next two months I'll have a regular series on RTL Radio Luxembourg explaining basics of European Union politics and policy and how it exactly works on the radio station as a, as a more regular occurrence. So stay tuned for that. Uh, all information will be on my uh, website, uh, wirtsbill.com, very soon. So in the European Union, um, you, the, the different member states have different regulations regarding firearms. You have those which are very strict, such as France, and then you have those which have more lenient gun laws, such as uh, Switzerland or the Czech Republic. Um, and you also have countries uh, in, in the Balkans, more specifically, due to uh, the historic reasons of the war, uh, where you have a very large occurrence of firearms uh, in, 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 in society. Um, what you see is that uh, with the beginning of terrorist attacks in Europe uh, um, in, in, in 2015, Europeans have been more inclined to buy firearms. Uh, and, and the numbers the numbers clearly show that. I've got a couple of numbers uh, here that, that are indeed very interesting. So in Germany, the amount of legally registered weapons has increased by almost 10% in five years. And there were 6.1 million guns in 2017. Between 2012 and 2017, the number of permits to carry weapons to use outside shooting clubs, uh, so that's, uh, that's for, for, for use, like to, to have it at home, for instance, uh, has more than tripled to 9,285. Uh, in the UK, so according to ONS data, uh, the UK showed a 2% increase in firearm and shotgun certificates in the year ending March 31st, 2018, rising to 157,581. Um, uh, also interesting number numbers by the uh, Switzerland, uh, the Switzerland based small arms survey shows that unregistered firearms uh, outnumbered legal ones in, tw in 2017 by 44.5 million to 34.2 million. Uh, so both registered and uh, un non registered firearms have been rising because people seek seek to protect themselves and to learn how to use firearms. Um, because uh, many examples show that, that firearms are actually very useful in uh, shooting situations. Now, the European Union um, has a, a regulation, which is a directive uh, on, on firearms of 1991. That one was amended and became stricter in, uh, in 2017. So there was an initial proposal in 2015. It was then watered down. Uh, and in 2017, it came into force. However, there's a number of countries that aren't very happy about it because they, they opposed it all the way through the process and yet found themselves in a minority uh, on the vote. Uh, the, uh, most, uh, the most notable example of that is indeed the Czech Republic. Uh, the Czech Republic is, um, despite the directive being, the amended version of the directive of the 1991 firearms regulation being enforced, the Czech Republic has actually refused uh, uh, so far to put it into national, in na international legislation. Uh, so, for instance, uh, they have not uh, banned civilian ownership of Category A firearms, so that includes things as, such as uh, shotguns, um, and the inclusion of semi-automatic weapons that look like automatic firearms, which is fairly ridiculous if you think about it, just because in a semi-automatic firearm looks like an automatic firearm doesn't make it any more uh, dangerous or less dangerous. It is a feature which is purely cosmetic. Um, Switzerland is in sort of the same situation. Switzerland is not a part of the European Union, but it has bilateral agreements. Switzerland has uh, found, a, the Swiss government found a compromise uh, uh, last year. Uh, however, because of the considerations of registers and a, a large amount of firearms that would be banned, which are now used in, 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 in hobby uh, sports shooting, uh, a, a large amount of Swiss people are actually opposing it, and there will be a referendum this year, uh, presumably in, in, in May 2019, um, a, a public uh, vote on, on that question in Switzerland. Um, and I, I, would, I would guess that it would be struck down, and then the, then the Swiss government will have to renegotiate. What we just see all the time now is that national governments are surrendering uh, their right uh, to, 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 to legislate on, on, on guns, more specifically, to, um, uh, to the European Union, because it's just easy, because you can point to Brussels and say it's all about Brussels. 
Um, and, and, and yes, uh, it is, it is um, sometimes they're pointing to Brussels as actually legitimate because they were outvoted and they were appo uh, opposing the, the, the measures from the get-go, at least the legislators did, if you look at examples such as the Czech Republic. I believe that if gun regulation is to exist, I think it should be at a local or at, at least a national level, um, and, and, and that's where differences uh, can occur. Uh, in any way, I don't expect France to have any more reasonable gun legislation, although it would very uh, uh, it, it, it would need it in, in, in the situation that we are in right now. If you look at the Strasbourg attack, uh, if, if people were able to be armed, if, if, if law abiding people would be able to be armed, they would have been able to defend themselves. So I, I do support uh, um, um, carrying firearms uh, in, in, in public. Um, but that's just my position. Do feel free to agree, uh, disagree with me on this, uh, both from the position of carrying firearms as well as from the position of who should regulate firearms. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that prior to my videos, I sometimes post questions, and so you can also vote on them. So to for me to get sort of a feeling of what the, what the people who follow me uh, think about these issues. So so do follow me on Instagram. Uh, for that, I'll be I'll be publishing a, 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 a an article on this specific topic where there you will find all the numbers and data uh, that will be published very soon. So thank you for watching and see you next time.